Hello! Today, we're going to talk about code style. Now, why would we do that when I think a lot of us believe that the debate about code style is a futile argument where everyone is over-opinionated and, and no one can win? Um, I don't really believe it's about winning uh, the argument. I think it's more about understanding the reasons for everyone's opinion and then hopefully finding a, a happy balance where we can all kind of get along. Uh, you know, it's interesting uh, if you've watched enough videos or, or uh, you know, like there's been some stuff on like JS Lint, uh, you know, on YouTube where I don't remember the, the founder talks about, you know, reasons behind everything and stuff like that. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a JS Lint fan. I, I don't really care. Uh, but I do believe in good elegant beautiful code that's easy to read so readability obviously without question is paramount when you're writing code everybody should aspire to have very high quality readable code um, and if you're not well then you know that's okay if it's just you right uh, so uh, what we have here is um, WebStorm uh, I have an instance of WebStorm running here and um, I have a little project that I had started on GitHub that's about uh, CSS and doing some kind of fun uh, less helpers. Now, it's not about the content here, but I just have it loaded uh, as a way of, of, of being kind of real world and talking about this stuff. Um, and primarily, we're going to be looking at, since we're going to be talking about code style, we're probably going to talk about JavaScript in this case. Um, and before we get into any little, real specifics, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, WebStorm, at, because, since it's a magnificent tool for this, and we're going to look at the settings uh, for this project. You'll see here that, you know, right out of the, the gate, here's JS Lint. Um, you can enable this. And there is some uh, helpful things. I mean, it's my attitude towards JS Lint is, you know, turn it on once in a while to see if you, you know, or even JS Hint as well, uh, to see, you know, where maybe you kind of made a silly mistake. And, and there's some good points to be made. Uh, you know, one of the things about JS Lint that I personally learned is the commonality for quotes, you know, single quotes and double quotes. Why do we use one or the other? I was originally already, you know, always a fan of just use double quotes. It seemed logical to me. But then I realized that as a convention, and that's a big key to why we make this co these code style um, decisions, is for conventions and that everybody kind of agrees and follows uh, along and we all have when we see code we we're not surprised by its structure well obviously json uh is their standard is double quotes uh we're not nobody's going to get away from that that's just part of the json standard um but when we're talking about html and client side development using single quotes is a is the way to go because what happens is if in some cases where you want to embed html inside of uh, your JavaScript, then most HTML is using double quotes, and so it allows for a lot easier uh, management of, of writing strings and things like that. So single quotes, that's the reason why single quotes should be, or at least according to JS Lint, the default uh, for, for JavaScript, unless it's a JSON blob of some sort. So there's the, uh, the caveat. And I'm all for that, to keep things consistent. It gets a little weird after a while when line one is single quotes and line two is double quotes and it doesn't make a sense why. So, you know, hopefully everybody kind of follows the convention there. And again, JS Lint uh, has a not only an opinion about it, but there's reasoning behind it. So, so moving on, uh, you know, whatever, JS Lint, we're gonna, you know, say goodbye to this for right now. Um, and then we're going to go to uh, this beautiful thing that happens in uh, WebStorm, and that's a code style definition. So, what you know, what's the benefit of this? Well, the benefit of this is that with a simple keystroke, you can auto format your document to follow a code style. Uh, this code styling is is great because you know you make some space mistakes, some tab mistakes, some things like that here and there, and uh, voila, everything's corrected and it's following a convention that you specifically have defined or maybe your group. Um, it's great because you can export the, this code style out and other people can import it and then there's no debate or argument about it. You just 
have a code style and uh, it, you, you simply, uh, you know, on Windows and I, I don't remember, I think it's very similar on Mac, uh, you just control alt L, you know, for like the default settings or you can actually go and just do a reformat from the menu and it will automatically fo follow that style. Now the first thing I want to address right out of the gate is um, I do have a personal opinion about this and this is ex this is very debatable but I, I don't want to stand by and just say it needs to be this way because you know and because I like it this way I actually want to have my own validation for it and I do believe that there is some validity behind it now I am not a person who believes in holding on to the right or the left I believe that the answer is somewhere in the middle uh, and I'm always open to people's opinions and you know if you have any reasoning please comment on the video uh, I would really like to see some dialogue about this where people actually have valid points about why things are the way they are one way or another and I believe that everybody's valid in their statement so I, I think it's a matter of like kinda of weighing things out now for many years I've had a I've gone back and forth on this and I I am now residing in the camp that believes in tabs uh, instead of spaces. Now, why? Um, well, fundamentally, why? You know, people like, I, I can tell you why people like spaces. People like spaces because the code will look the same on your machine as it would be on another person's machine. And that makes people happy when they open up their code and they're helping their buddy edit things in the office or something. They're like, oh, God, the spacing is off. Uh, you know, well, that's, you know, that's, Definitely a point, but I don't think it's val as, as valid as allowing everyone to have their own spacing definition, right? If you use tabs, then if I decide for myself if I want to have, you know, two space tabs and I want it to be a little bit less, uh, you know, expanded, right? I, I maybe I'm more comfortable reading it with a little less um, space, then my code does not affect how your code looks if I want it to look differently. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, if I change my tabs to, you know, eight, block quote eight, you know, level or whatever you wanna, doesn't really matter here, right? Um, if this looks better to me, it doesn't matter on your machine because your settings will be what they are, right? Your settings will be four or your settings will be two and it will still be consistent and easy to read for the individual. That's my key reason why I like tabs is spacing. Sure, it makes it look the same for everybody, but I believe in people's personal choice and I believe that there is some variance on, on what makes it readable to certain people. So um, that's, that's part of it. The other part of it is, you know, I, I think this has always been a valid argument is that tab, if, and if I want four spaces per tab, then I just added four characters for every tab versus, you know, basically an additional three characters and bytes in, in uh, of code, you know, for every, you know, one. Now, sure, when you compress things down, maybe that's moot, right? Maybe it doesn't matter if you're sending it over HTTP, uh, and, you know, with compression. Um, but still, it, it's fundamentally just more data wherever you store it. Uh, and I think that tabs have always been, uh, that's always been a valid reason for using tabs was, just less uh, code. So there's the two my two reasons for that. Uh, you know, this is an open debate. Anybody, feel free to comment and you know say your reasons why. Um, but ultimately, you know, this is my personal choice, um, and I would hope that there were people that agree with me, uh, and and that you know tabs seem to be a cleaner way to go. So let's move on to some other things, right? And this is again the great thing about WebStorm's kind of code styling is now you can actually go through all the different possibilities of how you want your um, style to look. And I'm here to talk about reasons why uh, that I have personally set my code this way. Now, I'm not gonna talk about coloring because coloring is very, I think, very, very personal um, to people. The only thing I will say is that I have, um, my choices for the long time was I do HTML declarative syntax in blue shades. I do uh, scripting colors and coding, you know, uh, like programmatic code in shades of red uh, and, you know, kind of orangish kind of, uh, you know, uh, code coloring. Um, other than that, you know, I mean, I would say I really have made a strong decision that I have to have black, pure black as a background, because I find that even the, a little bit 
of like slight gray hurts my eyes for some reason. And so I find that this is a lot easier for me to read. I very much feel like I'm writing code when it's black. So, you know, again, so very personal to everybody, but that's why I have my own personal choices about that.